Hey, how's it going? Chuck here again. And today I have a simple RSSI antenna tracker created by Andre Vinick. I'll put a link to his GitHub and YouTube video below. But this is the device. I built it up basically from parts I had lying around with the exception of the receiver. I found a deal on hobbyking.com and ordered one for less than $50. And, and it's pretty cool. So basically, um, I hacked this thing together from parts that were lying around. I had a servo, I had a 3D printer, and I had some copper wire. And basically, I created these five-turn helical antennas from plans that you can find on farview.com. That's F-A-R-V-E-W.com. I'll put that link in the description as well. But I created these five-turn antennas, hacked off the stock antennas that came with the quantum diversity receiver, put an Arduino board on the inside embedded that and put receptacles or sockets for the servo so this thing is designed for future expansion to have both both uh, lateral panning and uh, and pitch control but right now it just has lateral control and the servo is housed in the base here and and it controls the lateral movement of the antenna array so basically what happens here is that since this is a diversity receiver, it's receiving signals from each antenna and it's deciding which antenna has the stronger signal and switching your video over to that antenna. But the Arduino board is also looking at the RSSI and it's using the RSSI to estimate where and how far to turn the antenna to keep the craft within its view. And in my initial testing, I found this just to be an excellent, excellent antenna tracker. I mean, considering what I paid for it and how little effort it took, I would highly recommend putting one of these together. And if I had the choice, I would fly with an antenna tracker all the time if it weren't, weren't for portability issues. And I'll put some video up that show differences between the antenna tracker versus a LaForge um, LaForge diversity uh, setup for a fat shark goggle, goggle excuse me and uh, yeah it's obvious um, which video is consistently the clearest and uh, just a little bit of uh, a disclaimer is um, on my fat shark goggles I also use a um, helical antenna but I use a three turn on that so I have the the quantum diversity receiver um, velcroed on top of this little uh, turntable that's controlled by a a nine gram servo. So the nine gram servo is connected into connected into a side port here, which in turn is wired into an Arduino um, processor. So I have some video to show. Here's some footage of the antenna tracker off of a GoPro chest mount and embedded I have the HD video from the quadcopter so initially I just take off um, directly away and the antenna takes just a second to kind of get its bearings so it looks like it's sort of rotating to the left to try to track the quad and so now I'm going to do um, the far corner of the park that I'm at and just to show the antenna tracker tracking the quad from the right to the left. So I'll be crossing the path right now and the antenna will start to rotate to the left tracking the craft. So just continue now I'll be coming back to the right so the tracker will now move to the right as I cross. So it's doing a pretty good job of approximating the position of the of the quad just using RSSI so I'm just weaving back and forth and just to show the movement of the antenna tracker
just wanted to record the movement of the tracker just to see how it worked and I I figured if it didn't work it wouldn't be that big of a deal but um, it worked great and I just immediately started using it so okay here we go I think I'm gonna cross uh, in front of the camera here I think this is almost over so bear with me a few more seconds we'll just show the the antenna tracker moving left and right so we're crossing from the right to the left now and um, yeah so it works great I mean the video was was very clear the quantum or quantum diversity receiver was a very good product I thought and the antennas I thought worked pretty well Looking at similar side-by-side -side footage, you can clearly see that the RSSI tracker maintains a clear image, while the LaForge diversity module introduces some noise into the picture. Taking a run down 90 degrees from my position along a fence line and behind some trees, it's nearly a toss-up between the RSSI tracker and the LaForge diversity. You'll see some noise being introduced on both sides, but at the end of the run, when I start to head into the open field, you can see that the RSSI tracker, being able to rotate its antenna array, is going to deliver a clearer picture while the LaForge diversity starts to introduce a lot of noise and I actually start turning around because at that point I'm not sure if the picture is going to last. Got about three batteries in using the antenna tracker and it really just um, performed uh, like a dream. I wouldn't say flawlessly because the motion of the antenna is a bit erratic, and I think that introduces some interference into the video, but these antennas are so good that um, at distance, the, um, the, the, the pattern of these antennas is pretty wide, and when the craft passes between antennas, sometimes it never even switches channels on the quantum receiver. And in the video, you'll be able to hear it switching um, from channel to channel, but it just doesn't switch a lot. So maybe it just favors one ten one antenna over the other But in any case, it's it's clearly superior over just using a standard diversity setup